All this filament, an empty printer, let's print something. It's Filament Friday. This week's project is a Vulcan ear mug, suggested by a subscriber, Extra Fried Bob. It's up on Thingiverse by Roman Haglin. Now he shows it as a cup holding coffee, but I think that was printed professionally. So let's see how this looks printed on my DaVinci 1.0. So I downloaded the .stl file and loaded it into my XYZWare for Mac. Here's a view from different angles. I chose to print this at 15% fill, 0.2 layer height, and then I added supports because I just want to make sure it printed OK. So I hit the export button and it started slicing. It took about three and a half minutes and this is what it looked like. It looked pretty good. 0.2 layer height, 15% fill, and just under six hours to print and just under 30 meters. So it was ready to be sent to the printer. The print just completed about 20 minutes ago and I'm looking at it and I can see already it's a little bit rougher than I like but I had to use the white plastic. That's all I had left right now. I got more plastic coming in. And white is usually the worst. Let me show you. Now it printed with support so there was all kinds of material on the bottom and it just broke away as I pulled it off the glass. But I can already see the, you know, the lines. It's rough. I actually see a little some split lines on this thing which that's not good at all. I mean it's a .2 it should look better than that but that's typical of the white plastic. So I've got some material to take off but overall it printed pretty good. So I got some on the ear. See how much of this breaks off by hand. It's not too bad. I really don't want to clean out the ears, you know what I mean? But you got to. Whoa, actually it came out pretty good. The support supported it pretty well. And the bottom breaks away. And I got some in this ear. Yeah, this this actually printed pretty good in, around the, the ears here. It's breaking away pretty easy with just my fingers. So this is not too bad, other than uh, if I did it again, I'd use a different, I'd definitely use a different plastic. Now inside, th this thing kind of curls. So it printed support inside, and it looks like unevenly. So it's, it's pretty good support over here, but then as you go around the cup, it loses support. It's like almost none. And then there's support over here that just is like dangling. So, and then there's all kinds of strings in the bottom. So I don't know. Hey, look at those are just the strings in the bottom. So I don't know how much this support really helped. But it's coming out easy enough. There's all kinds of strings. I hate strings. They're just, they're hard to clean up. So I just use X-Acto knife and just scrape at the walls and they get some of them. Now the bottom is, is got from the support because this bottom rounded as well. And then it printed support not here but right along the edge. So I've got this nice, or not nice, rough edge here. And that's where the finishing tool comes in. The pivoting finishing tool. Just kind of glide that thing around there and it just takes that a lot of that rough edge right off. Not all of it, but a majority of it. So it's it's definitely a handy tool. I'm doing some work around the shop here. I'm actually expanding it. Uh, that's why there's only one 3D printer here. My other one is at its new location. I'm going to have a new filming location. I've got a whole wall of where my bench and tools are. 
and the CNC machine is actually going to go here. My electronics bench is back here now where I used to just have a standard little desk. So it's really shifting around. It's really tore up right now. And maybe at some point I'll show that behind the scenes. I, I'll definitely, I'm definitely going to show my Patreon supporters because I, I appreciate my Patreon supporters a lot. And I, I feel I need to get a little something extra. So I think that's going to be one of the first videos I do is show you the background of what I like to call my personal maker space for building all my little projects that I do. Um, so let's take a closer look at this. And the ears came out quite good actually. And I'll hold it up so you can see that the detail of the ears looks, I mean you can tell it's a Vulcan here, clearly. And the seams that I'm seeing here split carried over into the edge of the ear right here. There's a split. Now as far as this thing holding liquid, I don't know. I wouldn't trust it a whole lot but then it's ABS plastic, so it really shouldn't be touching anything that you're going to eat because it's petroleum based and it's just not recommended. And the other thing is with 3D prints, you get these, you get the lines, you get the grooves. So unless you really smooth this out with, um, by sanding it, maybe some acetone, but um, I don't know how that'll affect it either because that's, you don't want to eat acetone either. But if you smooth it out, then it wouldn't be as big of an issue. But with those grooves, uh, food particles and stuff could get caught in it. So even if this was a safe plastic, you can have food particles caught in, in the groove. So it's, it's really not the best. So for something like this, what I recommend is you find a, a paper cup or a plastic cup that inserts inside of it, especially if, you know, if you're going to let a kid drink from the ear cup. Put a plastic cup inside of it and just make it a holder. You know, so they can hold the ears and and drink it that way. But yet they're drinking from uh, a safe cup. And then you can pull it out. And you don't have to worry about cleaning this. You know, you rinse it off or whatever. But you put a fresh plastic cup in it and you're on your way. The tips of these ears actually printed pretty good. Now, it's probably because there's two of them. I had to go back and forth, back and forth. Because those were the last things printed. They're taller than the cup itself. So the head was going back and forth. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, that when you're printing something that's coming to a point like that, print at least two of them, preferably three, because that gives the plastic time to harden while the head moves. If you kept, if it was just one of these, that head would keep going and it would melt the top of this and it would just deform. So because there's two of them, it looks like it printed pretty good. So this is, uh, this is actually a fun little print took six hours and definitely there was some support, some support to take off. Now what would be interesting if someone tried to print this without supports and you know show me what it looked like. So I, I am disappointed about the splitting here on the side. It's kind of all the way through it and that could be because this plastic has been sitting around for a while I haven't seen splitting like this on any other color and really I've printed in white before and I didn't see this splitting so this could definitely be old plastic now I printed it at 15% fill and I didn't put it at um, the highest shell setting so that would affect it too if I would have done a higher shell I think it would have probably came out a little better but it doesn't look like it's going all the way through I can't, I can't see it. If I hold it up to the light, oh, there's one spot I can see. I can see if I hold through the light, there's one spot right here. So if I did put water in this thing, it probably would leak. So I'd have to, if I'm going to put water in something like this or some kind of liquid, I would have printed it more at 50%. 50% is kind of the recommended. You don't have to go all the way to 90%. 50% uh, and 90% are not a major difference. But 50% seems to be the trip point if you want it to really be solid. And if you don't care, then 15% is usually a good, a good fill rate. And for those that want to see it close up, here you go. You can see the detail on the ear. You can see it comes to a point. And here in the back, you can see where it's split. And then the other ear where it's split right there at the back. But overall, I don't think this was that bad of a print. Now, there won't be a filament Friday next week. 
uh, this coming Friday. It is a holiday weekend and I've got a lot of projects to finish before then and I'm actually traveling for work next week so it's gonna be tough to to get that out so I'm not gonna do a film a Friday video I do have a project that I was working on in fact I got two of them but one of them for sure is almost ready to to be presented to you and it's actually a, a project I did to fix something and I ended up using the 3d printer to make a special part for it and I never expected that to happen so the 3d printer kind of saved me and I'll show you that so look for that sometime uh, next week I don't know if it'll be Friday or not but sometime next week I'll get that one out but it'll be like two weeks before my next filament Friday project so if you have an idea for a filament, pro filament Friday project leave it in the comments below send it to me directly if you want I just would like it to be public so someone else can print what I print that's all and that's all I got for today oh also my book project on Kickstarter is coming getting close to finished and I'm a little shy of uh, hitting the target so if you're thinking about getting that book or you know some of you think about getting that book please pass it on uh, so if you like this project give it a thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe that way I know you're watching so that's it thanks for watching I'll see you next time